Hello and welcome back to MTD CNC. Today we are with Fast Chris, also with Fast Tim's. Chris is a good and quick talker, but today I'm gonna get him to slow down a little bit because his wisdom is far beyond mine. We're gonna talk about two massive systems. The first one we're gonna talk about is the flexible pallet tower, also known as FPT. The second one is called the flexible pallet container called also known as FPC. With that being said, Chris, with all your wisdom and knowledge, sure. Help me learn a little bit more about your sure. flexible pallet tower. I'll give a quick introduction about what Fastums does. You know, we are an automation company and been doing it for over 40 years with close to 5,000 installations worldwide. That being said, there's probably only two solutions in our portfolio that are actually products. One of those is the FPT, which is the flexible pallet tower and it's exactly what it says. It's a palletized tower. We do it in levels of six pallets and it can go up to four levels tall. So there'll be a total of 24 pallets in this system. Right now we have two models. We have the FPT 500 and the FPT 1000. And the, the number designation is the kilogram weight capacity of the physical loader itself. So that includes part weight, fixture weight and pallet weight. By the end of this year, we will have a third product, which will be the FPT 1800. So right now the FPT 500 is 1100 pounds. That marries up very nicely with 400 millimeter and some 500 millimeter machines. And then we have the FPT 1000, which would be 2200 pounds capability. So 500s, and some smaller, lighter weight, single part work possibly done on a 630 millimeter machine. Chris, I know we want to talk a lot about the flexible pallet container today, yep. but I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about the FPT sure. first. And that is, I got to see it in person recently. It's okay. really great technology and innovation. And for the audience watching right now, yep. there's a video solely on that one through the MTD channel, so check it out, please do. Was part of the thought process and innovation, you mentioned 24 pallets on this one, right? Yes. But it looks like a fairly reasonable and small footprint based on what you're offering it, to customers because you've built up, right? Yes, you build up. We're using the vertical space as opposed to the horizontal real estate. And real estate expensive. Is, is expensive. And if the line in gone with the wind is, you know, you can't replace real estate, you can't grow real estate. And for a lot of our customers, their real estate is constrained by four walls. So if, if we can't go linear with it, let's start going vertical with it. And that was really what pushed the development of the FPT. And the FPT on the back end of that kind of goes a little bit against the grain for what Bastems is known for. Bastems is known for coming up with solutions for multiple machines, some that are the same, and even some third-party equipment right. that we could put in our, our engineered solutions. This becomes a single machine point of usage. So it kind of is a little bit different, and, and it took a little bit to get that understanding through the different layers at Fastums that this was actually a necessary product that the market was asking us to do. Right. So, and if I may, yes. just to close out the conversation on the FPT. Sure. If I'm not mistaken, there's something really unique about the software on this system as well, which yes. really, really sets you guys apart as why to invest yeah. in this system. Can you touch on that also? I certainly can. You know, for as much as, it, you know, there's a lot of companies that can offer a solution where you have the ability to move a pallet. There's a lot of ways that can be done. Sure. And I'd like to think we do it as, be as best or better than a majority of the companies that provide this solution. The real key to Fastums is our software. So for as much of a hardware company as we are, we're also a software company. We have over 150 software engineers throughout our corporation. And that is what drives our MMS software and our controller. So the exact same software and capability that is on a one machine system is the same, same software system that we would have on the FPC or that we would have on a 
multi-level, 178 pallet, six machine FMS system. Perfectly said. Now, I know we wanted to have the focus, even though we've talked a lot about this sure. one already, we kind of wanted the focus today to be on the FPC, which is the flexible pallet container. So let's get into that one as Absolutely. well. I know there's a lot to talk about. So with the FPC, the FPC has certain characteristics that are just resident for the FPC. And, and along with that, there are also a couple, in all honesty, constraints with the FPC. The FPC can only be a two level system and that's it. So we can't grow it vertically, but we can grow it linearly. And we call it an FPC because it stands for flexible pallet container. And each one of our containers is basically the size of an intermodal transportation container that you would see on a rail, on a, on a rail car or on a ship. So it's right about that exact same size. So the size of the, of, the, of the container does have a correlation to the size of machine that it can be integrated with. Just as with the FPT, where we have a numeral designation for the loading capacity, it's the same with the FPC. So the FPC, there's 750, there's a 1,000, a 1,500, an 1,800, and a 3,000. And that ex exact same definition of kilogram weight on that loader and it does basically correlate with machine tool sizes. So with the FPC what's nice about it is it is an expandable solution. So now we have the ability to put in one container if you look at the animation, one mm -hmm. container with one machine and then one year, two years later the end user has another job that comes up or they want to expand their capacity they can add the second layer, the second system with another machine. We can go up to three containers in a system. So that is a limitation on it. We can't go to infinity and beyond lengthwise. We go to three containers. So three containers, and normally it's one machine per container, but there are some instances, and we're in the middle of a project right here in the Midwest now, where based on the width of the machines, there were smaller 400 millimeter machines it's three containers, but we were able to get four machines on that system. Okay, well, you said one thing that I thought was humorous, infinity and beyond, yes. so you're not Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> no. So we figured no. that out. Secondly, I want to clarify between the two, um, because you've done a lot of really great clarification, yeah. but I want to make sure the audience knows as well. Yes. Is this one feeding a single machine, and is this feeding multiple machines, or can this one do both? How do, is, there, is that the, the differentiator? Either one can just be installed one for one machine. Right. The FPT does have that limitation that it only one stays machine. one machine. Got it. The right. FPC, we can go up to, as a, that rare instance, we can go up to four machines. Right, right. Okay, so this one is one of those ones I see up against the wall that's lined with three, yes. four machines and it's feeding every single one of them. And yes. By the end of this entire process, you're taking it apart and dropping it into a box. Absolutely. That's the goal. Yeah. That that's is the, the goal. goal. Right? That is the goal. Yes, you know, unless there's you know, a secondary uh, operation that once it leaves the FPC has to go uh, to a, a cleaning system or, or well, what have you. There's all sorts of reasons why there's we might all have more sorts. operations, yes. right? But the concept is, and I understand that, that makes sense to me. And I see where both systems can be extremely helpful because as you mentioned to begin with, we're at Morris today and we look at these Akuma machines, we look at these Sugami machines, yeah. we talk about the partnership that you guys have with Morris and Akuma and the yes. fact of how well these systems work with those guys as yes. well. So the last question I have for you today, Chris, is the relationship with Morris, with Akuma, with your friends at Sugami, yeah. all these places, what does it mean to you and what does it mean to Fast Tims? It, it's, it's a great relationship that we have with them. Uh, here in the U.S., you know, overall worldwide, we've integrated with over 90 different CNC manufacturing companies. Here in the U.S., um, with the number of installs that we have in the United States, our relationship between Okuma and their top-tier distributors. You know, they're in, in the United States, there's, there's the Hartwigs, there's the Gossingers, and there's the Morris. Our relationship with them has been very respectful, very coordinated, I will say, whereas a lot of you know, other machine tools, when they come into the United States, 
we could integrate with them because we're a complete open integrator, but the machines may not be absolutely prepared for automation. The Akuma machines come in with a number of the options already inside the control to facilitate our integration for automation. So it's been a very revolving and growing relationship, but it still is growing right now. Hence the high percentages, hence the yes. high number of installs. Absolutely. And you started this whole thing off with how many installs around the world. You yep. mentioned how many you know, companies you've worked with, which is all fantastic for everyone watching. You guys already know Fastems for sure, but this is how the technology can be utilized in your facility. We don't even need to go into the details today about yeah. what pallet change systems can do for people. Absolutely. And how all of this integration helps people create the profitability they yeah. want, the competition on a global scale that they need, the ability yeah. to reduce that labor shortage and to compete yeah. in a way with limited amount of people while still keeping a machine shop Absolutely. running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. These are all conversations that Chris and I will have Absolutely. with you at later dates. We just wanted to introduce this technology for those of you who have not seen it. Chris, as always, or should I call you Fast Chris with Fast Tims? Just call Thank me you Chris. For your Thanks your so time, much. My Thank you, Tony.